Hey guys, Free Beer Fridays. Going over really quick. I'm going to be talking about a video I took yesterday with like a sunrise in front of me and a sunrise behind me at the same time. Um, touch them real quick. I did put a couple things out early this week and I'm still working on this, trying to make it into something that's, I can say, it's hard to deny this. Um, there's a lot of unknowns when people independently try to figure out what's going on and when we swim through a sea of BS along the way it makes it even more difficult but I'd like to be able to give something that says not always have to say well I don't know I don't know um, so anyway on this talking about Scopex um, not going into that now or you can go back to an old video and see that and um, but talking about the geoengineering agenda that was in the um, this last March UN environmental agenda the airplane that went down um, and US and Saudi blocking the agenda after that not too long after that we saw this come into the picture um, testing mass surveillance balloons and that's where I'm working at right now um, as I was looking I'd found that um, a I think I don't know if it says here they only had two actual flights but over here it says there was contradiction because they said they were part of a project to develop an all-weather radar imaging capability so that conflicted with the purports um, of mass surveillance balloons so anyway I'd found on I had found before I saw that article with just the two flights being launched there was a forum over here and they were giving um, details when it did come up they were watching and they tracked you know on things like flight data I've got to get a subscription to this to be able to go back and see what that actual data was they only go back like a few couple days whatever but um, so anyway I'm working on that but it does appear that go figure we have conflicting reports coming out of the same organization um, so working on that trying to tie it together my thought is and there was another thing um, it's not in this article I've got it somewhere I've got a bunch of stuff saved but when I was looking at the flight data that I got from this forum it did come up that Raven Aerostars which is a very popular you know probably one of the biggest balloon manufacturers um, but they were the you know owners builders of the mass surveillance balloons that we were called were mass surveillance balloons um, and over here on this when you go back into the Scopex Raven Aerostar is the one that was developing that um, Scopex platform anyway but right now I'm gonna go over to here I was started to watch WSO did a live stream yesterday but I was working and I just had to turn it off because I get distracted so I've got to go back and look at that but um, I took this video yesterday and you know I don't say this happens all the time around here and I was actually commenting about the lack of colors we've had lately um, in sunsets um, sunrises we've been doing fairly well but I was taking a picture taking a video I've got some time-lapse stuff I'm gonna try to render out before I head out today but the Sun was the other way now I've spun it 180 degrees and you know you see that was like where it started it kept getting more pungent but I mean it's one of those things when I was a kid I don't remember seeing a sunset and turning around backwards and seeing another sunset so do I, I don't know what this is I live in what's called the Cumberland Basin which I, where I'm located it's like 400 feet above sea level and all any area if anybody's ever been through Nashville um, it seems like if you're in Nashville and leave out of any interstate you very shortly drive up a very big hill so topograph could have something to do with this but for darn sure this has something to do with it because when I see you know colors like this in the evenings facing the behind the Sun you can darn well bet there was a ton of these in the sky that day this is from about 830 yesterday morning and um, so yeah that's I'm gonna push this out to Steve um, over at WSO and see if it corresponds with anything they were talking about and I look forward to um, going back and watching that video in full um, I'm gonna try to get 
at least one more render out today before I got to head out to work. I got somebody coming over to meet me. Um, so yeah, it's just odd how come the sun, you know, I'm over here, I spin 180 degrees, and the sun's already, you know, behind the tree line. Like I say, living in the basin doesn't give that full um, landscape view of the sun sunsets or sunrises around here. But, um, you know, it's worth someone taking a look at and, um, you know, just add another little piece to the puzzle as we try to figure out what in the heck is going on.